So more disturbing, but honestly not very surprising news from just shady stuff happening around the Pete Buttigieg campaign. This is from Common Dreams' Norman Solomon. Why the Buttigieg campaign tried to have me arrested for handing out these Medicare for All flyers. This is, that is nuts. There, I mean, he just, there's Mayor Rat, CIA Pete, Mayor Cheat, Mayo Pete. Pete's billionaires. Uh, he's just, he's just such a slimy, slimy person, politician. Yeah, you think that a presidential campaign backed by forty billionaires and untold members of bundled rich people wouldn't worry about just one leaflet on Medicare for all? But minutes after Pete Buttigieg finished speaking in an auditorium at Keene State College in New Hampshire on Sunday, a Pete for America official confronted me outside the building while I was handing out a flyer with the headlines, uh, Medicare for all, not healthcare, profiting for the few. You can't pass that out, uh, the man told me. I did a double take, glancing at the small Pete metal badge on his lapel while being told that he spoke on behalf of the Booty Judge campaign. So here you have a Booty Judge campaign member on a college campus, a public space, curtailing Norman Solomon's free speech to hand out these um, factual flyers on Medicare for All and dispelling the right-wing uh, talking points that people like Pete Buttigieg and Klobuchar and, you know, Republicans use and just, you know, corporate Democrats in general when talking about Medicare for All and saying how it will cost more money and people lose their insurance. It's like, no, everybody will be covered. We will save money. People won't be dying. People won't be going bankrupt. It's the right thing to do from an ethical, moral, and physical perspective. So all the arguments against it just don't hold water. And that's all this flyer was pointing out. But this was too much for the booty judge campaign and team to handle because they know when present people presented with the facts on Medicare for all and not these um, ridiculous you know made up right wing framed attacks on it they don't hold water and booty judges support would just drop away further when people are presented with a clear the clear picture about what I, what would happen under Medicare for all single payer type system everybody would be covered we would save money. People would be covered at the point of service. Guess what? You get more choice too because you can go to whatever doctor you want. That's the choice that people really want. People don't give a shit about their fucking insurance companies. They just want to be able to go see whatever healthcare provider that they want. They want to be able to pick out the best healthcare provider for themselves and their families. And guess what? Under a Medicare for All system, you get that choice. That's not determined by the insurance companies. Everybody will be in network. So this is what the booty judge campaign is trying to repress. They're trying to restrict, or they did restrict Norman, Norman Solomon's free speech and the cops went along with it on this college campus in New Hampshire, Keene State. Um, we were standing on the campus of a public college. I said that I understood the First Amendment. When I continued to pass out the flyer, the booty judge campaign official, who repeatedly refused to give his name, he should have... He should have recorded this. This would have made a viral video and would have got would have got a lot of play, especially especially on Twitter. Um, disappeared and then quickly returned with a campus policeman who told me to stop disturb uh, distributing the leaflet. Two Keene City police soon arrived. It's like what the fuck are these Keene City policemen and this campus police officer doing? They're totally do they not? know what freedom of speech not what the first amendment is that seems pretty fucking basic if you don't know that i mean you probably shouldn't be a police officer or you need to go back and get some fucking constitutional training for god's sakes Rid ridiculous both on the booty edge campaigns part and law enforcement this is ridiculous they need to come out and explain why they kicked um norman solomon off of a college Frickin' campus, a public space. His free speech was protected there. This is ridiculous. Where's the right wing, uh, you know, all these right wing talking heads, people like, you know, Ben Shapiro and people of that ilk who are always talking about how 
the left is trying to curtail and attack free speech. We'll go after Booty Judge for not letting Solomon pass out these flyers. I would be fine with that. Um, the Booty Judge official stood a few, few feet behind them as the police officers threatened me with arrest for trespassing. How is it trespassing? It's a public college. Jesus Christ. Ordered to get off the campus within minutes or be arrested, I was handed an official written order. A criminal trespass notice not to set foot on Keene State College, entire campus for a year. This is nuts, man. This is nuts. So much for freedom of speech and open election uh, discourse in public places. Indeed, like, Booty Judge needs to come out and condemn this. This is just, but he's not going to because he's a little rat. And a little slimy weasel and just, that's just nuts, man. Why did a representative of the mighty Booty Judge campaign resort to such a move? A big clue can be found in a deception that Booty Judge engaged in during the debate on Friday night. Um, let's see. Um, and then Klobuchar saying that people would get kicked off their health insurance and again. Everybody would be covered under a Medicare for All single payer system. You would save money. You could go to any doctor, any physical therapist, any healthcare provider that you want. You have to worry about if it's in network or not. People won't be dying because they don't have health care. Thirty to forty five thousand people again die each year in the US because they don't have health care. Five hundred thousand people go go bankrupt currently because of our for profit rapacious healthcare system. That goes away. We save money. It's the right thing to do on every level. On every level. Candidates like Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar, who use these right wing talking points saying it will cost too much or people lose their insurance, or just um, doing the bidding of the health insurance and pharmaceutical industry, and uh, don't believe them. It's because <laughs> they're just flat out lying. Um, <clears throat> and then. But Klobuchar then attacked Booty Judge by saying, And Pete, why you have a different plan now? You sent out a tweet just a few years ago that said, Henceforth, forthwith, indubitably, affirmatively, you are a Medicare for all of the ages. And so I, uh, I would like to point out what leadership, I would like to point out that what leadership is about is taking a position, looking at things, and sticking with them. And so one of the reasons Bernie Sanders has high, such high support under the, um, for the healthcare issue, I should say, is because he's been clear and consistent for support for Medicare for All for decades. And, and a lot of polls show that 70 to 80% of Democratic voters support a Medicare for All single payer system. No wonder Bernie does so well with them. Booty Judge was far from candid with the response. Quote, just to be clear, the truth is that I've been consistent throughout in my position on delivering healthcare for every American. And just, again, it's a total non-answer. He is just such a slimy little weasel and cannot answer the simplest of questions. Like, <sighs> under, under Booty Judge system, there would still be millions of people that would not have health care, for God's sakes. <sighs> it's just so ridiculous. And, again, if you wanted everybody to get delivered health care, in your words, it's just so stupid. You would be advocating for Medicare for All, as you did a couple of years ago on Twitter. That was the correct position, and then you had your right-wing ship because you saw that you wouldn't be able to compete in the election as a you know, progressive left populist because Bernie already had that lane in the bona fides and you know, background that people actually believe what he says because he's been clear and consistent, and you're just a slimy little weasel who's willing to say or do anything or change your policy platforms or say things to certain donor groups in order to get elected and people people see through that or they should at least um answer directly contradicted an early 2018 tweet from booty judge gosh okay I, Pete Booty Judge, politician, do henceforth and forthwith declare most affirmatively and, and indubitably under the ages that I do favor medical fraud as I do favor any measure that would help get all Americans covered. Uh, but, you know, he's in the pocket of these billionaires in the health insurance and pharmaceutical industry, so that's that's why he changed his tune. It's, it's pretty clear. Also from the flyer, <coughs> um, 
Let's see. And it was produced and financed by RootsAction.org, which is completely independent of the official Sanders campaign. Quote, Booty Judge is claiming that Medicare for All would dump people off health coverage and deprive them of choice, our flyer pointed out. Those are an insurance industry talking points. He is deliberately confusing the current choice of predatory for-profit insurance plans with the genuine full choice of healthcare providers that enhanced Medicare for everyone would offer. And again, that is such an important distinction and needs to be made more often. I don't give a shit what fucking insurance plan I have right now. I want to know if I'm able to go to my preferred doctor, my preferred physical therapist, my preferred dentist, whatever it is. I don't want that dictated from some stupid insurance company. And again, we don't have to worry about premiums, co-pays, deductibles. Everything's free at the point of service. People aren't dying. People aren't going bankrupt. Makes sense on every level. And Pete Buttigieg's campaign was trying to curtail Norman Solomon's free speech around this issue. And it's disturbing and disgusting. And I um, doubt we will see any type of apology or even official explanation from the um, mayor cheat team because that's kind of who they are and what they represent uh, leave your comments in the comment sections down below please subscribe if you haven't already I appreciate everybody that has and continues to thank you peace much love